Hey everybody, what's up? We're doing some late night testing here. Starlink Mini, got it on the roof of my car. We're gonna do a battery draw test. So key is in the accessory position. I've turned the stereo off and we got the Starlink running. It's 9.30 at night. We're gonna check it in the morning, see if the car still starts. Okay, so here's the, uh, of course I waited till it's dark out to do this. Hi boy. Uh, the Starlink Mini is just sitting on my lawn. Cable's running over there, plugged into the wall. Just wanted to get it uh, set up the traditional way. So it says, according to the app on my phone, it says that it's online. Downloading the update 40, 40%. So the plan is to let it get 100% online the way it comes out of the box with the AC adapter in the wall and the cord it comes with. And once I know I'm connected to the internet and everything's working good and the Starlink works, then I'm gonna unplug it. Use one of the 12 volt cords that I've, I've got here and, and uh, we'll, start, we'll start our 12 volt in-car testing. All right, so I'm using the 10 foot cord I bought off Amazon. Uh, my car needs to be in the accessory position for this port to be hot. So that's what we got going on right now. Um, I'm not sure if this amp clamp just isn't sensitive enough because I checked it on the AC adapter that it came with too and it was showing like 0.3 and right now it's showing 0.14 and I thought I thought everybody said it would pull like 3 to 5 amps booting and then 1 to 3 amps uh, running so I, I don't know. I don't know what to think of that. Then I just got the cord going out the window and the Starlink's up on the roof. So I'm gonna do a worst case test right now. It's 9.30 at night, so I'm gonna pretend that I just got set up at camp and I powered up the Starlink, I left my key in the accessory position and I had too many beers and I fell asleep. So we're gonna find out in the morning when I get up to go to work if the car battery's dead or not. 9.27 at night right now, and I have to get up in the morning at 5 and get ready to go to work. So I'm going to see if the car starts tomorrow when I get up to go to work. Because this is... So yeah, this vehicle has the, the smallest battery of any anything in my fleet. So I figure if it's going to kill a car battery overnight, it's going to kill this one. Uh, most of the stuff I go camping with would have uh, like a Group 65, if not maybe two of them. Like my diesel... So let's uh, let's see what happens tonight. Um, I was hoping the amp clamp was going to be a little more helpful, but it's only showing like a quarter of an amp, so I'm not sure I trust that. I'll check battery voltage in the morning, and then I'll try to start the car, and we'll see what we can learn. It's starting to make a little noise. I don't know if it'll pick up. in there it's in there doing things i'm gonna leave it on maybe i'll go inside watch some youtube off the signal and then we'll check the battery voltage on the car in the morning and see if it starts all right looks like uh, i spoke too soon that um just 12 volt cigarette lighter plug going into the Barrel connector on the Starlink is not getting it done. Uh, it stayed connected for a little bit and then it shut off. So um, might start the car, and let it run and just see if it's like a voltage threshold thing. Uh, but I also bought that uh, voltage converter because I'd kind of heard this might be a thing. So anyway, we'll, uh, we'll keep testing here. Okay, so I mentioned that it, um mentioned that it ran for a little bit and then shut off. So what I'm gonna do is unplug this and we're gonna check the voltage in there. Let's see, uh, see what the cigarette lighter is. Okay, I'm getting 12. Let's see if I can show this. Getting 12. So pretty much what you'd expect. So let's just fire up the car. Let's see if we can show that again. Voltage 
12, 9, 7, 13 and a half, 14. Alright, so I'm gonna I'm gonna plug the Starlink back in. And oh. Well that's new. There we go. Alright, we'll let it boot back up here. While I'm waiting for it to, to boot back up, the reason I'm doing this is the minis have been out for a couple weeks now and I've watched pretty much every YouTube video I can find on it and it looked like people were having the best success powering them DC with like a power tool battery that runs on like 20 volts and there was a lot of conjecture that um, because the Starlink input says I think 12 volts to, here let's just read it. says 12 volts to 48 volts so the input for the Starlink says 12 volt to 48 volt DC with the Starlink mini dish saying that the acceptable voltage input is 12 volt to 48 volt DC the thought was that uh, you know the car is 12.2 12 whatever voltage drop through the cable that that was going to be too low to the threshold to actually work off just straight a cigarette plug uh, which is why I also ordered a voltage converter to step it up to, I think I bought a 12 to 24, could have bought a 12 to 48, but um, I've got the car running now. We're gonna see if the dish comes back online. If it doesn't, I'm gonna go wire up a converter and we'll try that as well. Let's go check the, uh, check the app here again. It says Jones Mini is, blinding it too much, Jones Mini online. All right, 44 down, 13 up, 24 milliseconds, whatever all that means. Uh, so what have we learned? We've learned. So I had it plugged into the cigarette lighter with the car off and it stayed online for, I don't know, five, maybe 10 minutes. I didn't time it. I just went to check the connection and I saw that it was down. Uh, I'm just gonna let the geo idle for a bit and confirm that it will stay online with the car running which will kind of prove my belief that it is a, a voltage threshold thing um so we'll see we'll uh we'll check back in like 10 minutes okay it has been that glare is horrible jones mini still connected uh, it's been at least 10 minutes, car's running, that definitely seems to make a difference with the uh, connectivity. Or not even connectivity I should say, but just the, the actual operation or, or function of it. So what I'm going to do here to confirm that it is voltage sensitive at the at the bottom end of the spectrum there is I'm going to go ahead and turn the car off and I'm going to wait and theoretically in I don't know a reasonable amount of time so again I'm going to leave it in accessory so that it's hot and stereo's turned off but theoretically Theoretically, this thing will struggle for power here in, I don't know, 5, 10, 15 minutes. And then uh, when it goes offline, I wired up the converter cord. We've got that in the house, so. Okay, so now we wait. We're back. Uh, car is shut off. And if my theory is right, that... Uh, that it's going to struggle with the lower voltage that uh, it should go offline here in I don't know 10-15 minutes something like that and when it does that uh, I bought more parts and I've 
got a cigarette lighter to DC DC converter step up converter to barrel plug so we're going to be 12 volt cigarette in converter step up to 24 volts and then to barrel plug so we'll see if that works when this goes offline okay good morning from the Starlink test studios uh, 5 30 a.m. getting ready to go to work I woke up and checked the connectivity from my bedroom which is on the far end of the house over there probably 70 feet away and it showed Starlink Mini online and then quickly thereafter it said disconnected no internet connection offline so I think it can sit idle as in do nothing uh, but as soon as you start doing speed tests or using the internet I think it probably needs more volts and amps and uh, it kicks offline so right now I'm gonna pop the hood on the geo I'm gonna check the voltage on the battery and then uh, see if the car will start uh, and then the next test will be uh, I'm driving the excursion to work today so I'm actually gonna plug it in and put it on the dash even though it's not for use in motion see what it does on the way to work getting 12.1 volts at the battery so a little low for sure but all right so there you go started uh, no problem okay so the geo started no problem after having the starlink plugged in all night so that's uh, that's probably going to be a non-issue. I just need to figure out if it's kicking offline because it's not powered or what. So. So now the geo's running back online speed seems really good right now uh, it's been all over the map kind of anywhere from 40 down to you know that 120 130 range so um, I don't know how common that is but whatever all right so I'm gonna I'm gonna throw the dish in the excursion and take off for work all right so we got we got Starlink on the dash again uh, it shows online, but it says the tilt is incorrect. It just shows the alignment now that I'm facing west is, is good. But anyway, so we're just going to leave it uh, kind of all crummy like this. And we're going to turn off cellular. And we're going to fire up. Go to one of mine. Um, let's watch half an hour of fixing a boat that sunk in a lake. So many tires, and the thought of choosing the. Yeah. So we're gonna. Oh, there you go. There's some water. This is pretty hilarious. Hopefully the audio comes through. Let's see if we can do all the wrong things and uh, stream YouTube while we drive to work today. Somewhere in Mexico, though, wouldn't would never do this in the United States. That would be illegal. Hey, everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Chasing 518. Today, I'm on a boat in sunk. Okay, it's been about 45, 50 minutes. Uh, my drive so far. I was able to successfully watch, not watch, I was able to successfully let a YouTube video stream, no interruptions. Uh, when you check the statistics on the Starlink app though, it shows some interruptions, some downtime, but I never, I never saw it in the video, so I'm not sure if it's constantly kind of staying ahead of itself or, or how that works, but um, anyway, uh, it's, it's working. I'll show you guys a couple uh, screenshots, maybe do a, a speed test or something like that.
I didn't really intend to do uh, in motion testing because I know the, the Mini says it's not, not for use in motion, which I think has more to do with an FCC licensing thing. I'm mostly just trying to check power supply because I wanted to eliminate that that AC adapter, AC transformer that it comes with and the big long cord. So my goal is to buy a, a case from Harbor Freight, one of those like Apache things and just keep the Starlink in it with uh, one or two cord options maybe based on length or if I end up needing that step up, step up converter and uh, just keeping that case handy so that I can throw it, throw it in the chase truck, throw it in the RV, whatever. And then uh, if we need, if we need some internet to ask for help or look for parts or get in contact with family or whatever that I've, I've got that option. So. Okay, let's keep driving. Keep testing. Science.